Hi, my name is Bruce Stewart. I'm the technical service manager with FMC located out of Choctaw, Oklahoma. I'm here today in an alfalfa field in central Oklahoma and it's about time to start treating for alfalfa weevil. Uh, Stewart insecticide is an effective uh, control measure used to control alfalfa weevil and it's a group 22 insecticide. Uh, the active ingredient is in doxycarb. Uh, one unique feature about uh, Stewart insecticide is it has to be ingested. Unlike other products like pyrethroids, organophosphates that work uh, by dermal exposure or contact activity, Stewart insecticide has to be ingested. And because of that, there's some unique things that need to be considered when utilizing it properly. And I'd like to kind of go over those here uh, today. One of the first factors we need to consider is how much foliage do we have present at the time that we're wanting to make an application. If we have uh, alfalfa weevil larval densities at a uh, level that we need to treat, we usually need about six to eight inches of growth out here. Again, steward is consumed, so we need to have enough foliage. So this field has about uh, 10 inches of, of foliage right now. So it would be a good time if your larval populations are warranting to be treated. So if you get into a situation where you don't have six to eight inches of foliage, but yet you have high numbers of uh, larval populations, what you could do is come in with a pyrethroid or organophosphate to make that treatment and knock those weevils down. Also, an important part is, uh, or factor to consider, is if you have a significant code uh, snap. Uh, if you do have a significant code snap, you know, the larvae are going to penetrate deeper into this terminal uh, growth. The first instars are going to be more difficult to get to. The second or third and even fourth instars are going to drop or go lower on the plant or even in, down into the duff. So usually at that point, uh, if that significant code snap has caused them to drop and not feed as much as we would like. And again, steward needs to be consumed. So it's kind of the rule of thumb to not make an application two days before or after a significant code snap. Kind of the third uh, factor to consider is spray coverage. Uh, what we like to see is at least 10 to 20 gallons per acre going out on, on alfalfa with a ground rig and at least two gallons an acre uh, with aerial applications. Uh, you know, if the foliage of the uh, alfalfa is say six to eight inches, you could probably get away with the lower volume of water around that 10 to 15 mark. Uh, however, if you, if you get this uh, 10 inch uh, alfalfa or, or taller, you know, that's where you're really going to need to get that material pushed down into the foliage, again, for consumption of the larvae. Another factor that we uh, like to utilize or bring uh, to the forefront is the use of a surfactant, something like an organosilicone uh, surfactant is really what we recommend, and uh, it helps provide that coverage, helps it stick to the leaf, helps it get down and penetrate uh, in, into the terminal and also into the canopy. Uh, another factor is the rate. Uh, you know, if you have uh, heavy populations, uh, oftentimes we'll come in with uh, five ounces early uh, and then 6.3 fluid ounces uh, later on, a week or two after the first application. That's kind of what we call our uh, double shot. And then our single shot, if you come in with eight to 10 fluid ounces, is uh, oftentimes what's recommended if you're just going to go with uh, one application of steward insecticide. Uh, there is a cap of 11.3 fluid ounces per cutting with steward, so that's something to uh, keep in mind when making applications. Effective control of alfalfa weevil larvae with steward insecticide should be achieved if you follow these factors that I just mentioned. If these factors are not followed, marginal control may result. Sometimes when poor or unsatisfactory control uh, results, the finger's kind of pointed at resistance. But here at FMC, we're taking a very uh, progressive approach to monitoring resistance of alfalfa weevil larvae to uh, steward insecticide. One, we're doing uh, vial bioassays in which we treat the inside of a vial with a known dose of steward insecticide. We then place larvae in that vial 
and then we come back and monitor mortality uh, several days later. In addition, we're doing leaf dip bioassays in which we take the foliage of the alfalfa, dip it into a known concentration of steward insecticide, and then uh, place in a petri dish, and then come back and uh, record mortality after a certain time period. Finally, we're also doing replicated small plot uh, research trials with university and private research contractors around uh, different states. And so far we've seen no uh, indication of resistance of alfalfa weevil to uh, steward insecticide, uh, still performing very effectively and is really a, a, one of the best tools in managing alfalfa weevil larvae here today. Well, I wish you good luck in controlling this pest and uh, hope your yields are high. Thanks.